So by the title of this video, you guys have probably got a pretty good idea of what this is about. This is the method proposal or announcement for 42 or B3. Some of you might have already heard about this. I've been thinking about it for a reasonable amount of time and I finally feel like it is time to announce it or propose it, whatever you want to call it. So let's start off with the basics. Why is it called 42? This method is called 42 because it you averages 42 moves and uses 42 algorithms. Only 42. And it doesn't use anything weird. It doesn't use CP. It doesn't use EO line. It doesn't use three cycles. It doesn't use blind tracing. It doesn't use blind memo. Nothing weird like that. It's just block building, case recognition. That's all it is. It has four steps to it. The first block, exactly the same as Rue, nothing weird. You don't need to do anything with CP, you don't have to do anything special with EO. Second block, except this is a square and one oriented corner. So you don't even have to build the full first block, full second block. You just need to build a second block square and have an oriented last layer corner, and that can be any last layer corner. Conjugated CMLL or BT reduction. Same thing, but with two different names. Though BT reduction does refer to something slightly bigger. It sounds scary, but it really, really isn't. You just need to be able to recognize opposite colors, counter colors, and orientation cases. Exactly the same as you would in ZZCT or OLL or OLLCP, or CMLL, or COLL. You just add one extra sticker compared to COLL and CMLL. Nothing weird, you don't need to recognize any cycles, you don't even need to know what a conjugate is. You don't need to know what a commutator is. You just need to be able to recognize a case. And the last step is the last seven edges. You can do this algorithmically, like in LMCF or Wateroo or anything like that that's recently been developed in the community. I do prefer, however, to do this intuitively. So, you can, when you do it intuitively, you can do it in about 16 moves, which is a completely reasonable number, as far as I'm concerned, given that LSE is 13 moves. Okay, so if you think that the move counts from the last section were completely made up, makes no sense, completely not possible, I grabbed a couple of scrambles from CS Timer just to do a couple of example solves to see, just to show you that this method is as efficient as I claim it to be. So, first scramble. We build a completely normal first block. You do nothing weird to the corners, no CP, no CO, no EP, no EO, anything like that. You just build a completely normal first block, just like you would in Rue. So, what have we got here? We've got to go for this one, because it pairs up quite nicely. So, first block, done, dusted, easy. Now we make a second block square and orient one corner. So, all you really need to do is focus on the second block square and norm often, just less than a third of the time, oh, we've got it here, you actually get a corner orientation skip. So you don't need to do anything about that. This will be our second block. Now, conjugated CMLL, sounds scary, really isn't. Just look at what we've got, these two, that's the pattern we've got, a slash, and we look at this sticker. Now, this sticker is different, 
is a counter color. So it's not the opposite, then it's not the same. It's a counter color to these two. So now that we've recognized the, the case, we just perform the algorithm, which in this case is that one. Just a normal CML alg, just used slightly differently. Now, this doesn't really look like much less of a mess. But it is. It really, really is. Because this is just that often solved. So, that's all you need to do. But, we don't want to do that because that introduces inefficiencies. Because, essentially, all we're going to do after that is just do that again. So, we're just going to leave it like that for now. And we're going to solve one more edge, which in this case is this one, as you can see. And I'll just do a normal, the most basic thing you can do, which is reduce, solve that piece and reduce this to a normal LSE case, which would be that. Now I'm willing to bet that was less than 45 moves. I'll post the reconstruction in the description just in case no one wants to count. So, just to show you that wasn't lucky, I'm going to do another scramble. Okay, what have we got? Okay. There we go. First block, done. Nothing weird, nothing strange. Now we make the second block square, which would be... Oh, and we've got a skip again. Like I said, just under one in three chance. Recognize the case. So, with this one, got the white sticker there. And we have the count, the same color and count color. Basically, this is one of the cases I refer to as a mess. So we recognize the algorithm, and we just perform the algorithm. There again, this doesn't seem like much less of a mess, but it is still just that often solved. So, instead of that really, really basic thing that I'm going to do, that I did last time, you do something slight, ever so slightly more complicated. I'm going to solve this piece, so the FR edge, what should go there, while orienting the edges. Not as hard as it sounds, so we want... Done. Everything's oriented, and now it's just an oriented LSE case. Two solves, done, nothing weird, no weird CP, anything like that. And I'm willing to bet both were under 45 moves. In fact, some of them might have been under, one of them might have been under 40.